If a thief notices that your house has no security system, your house is three times more likely to get broken into according to AckermanSecurity.com. These are the items that you're going to need before installing. A DVR, cameras with a built-in hard drive, an LCD monitor, a surge protector that has a backup battery pack in case your power goes down, the system does not go down. For your internet connection, I highly recommend getting a power line adapter kit, just plug and play. A drill, spade bits so you can create the hole to run your cable. And when installing the cable, make sure you put a drip loop or else the water is going to seep into the camera. And I also recommend getting a fish rod to run the cable through the soffit hole into your attic and make sure you tape the cable to the tip of that fish rod. By doing the installation yourself, you're gonna save yourself around $800. Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and this is the best value video surveillance system that you're gonna get for the money. This normally goes for three to $400, is now going for around $200. And it also comes with a one terabyte hard drive where most DVRs don't. The DVR, HVR, and NVR. The cameras come with 36 built-in LEDs for great nighttime vision which gives you visibility up to 100 feet. So you can see it's actually a really great picture when the light's on, all the color is vivid, and you can see everything. Now even with the lights off, you can easily see everything in the garage, no problem. It just becomes a black and white video. And this is what the camera looks like at night. If you also connect this DVR to your router or your modem, you can actually view live footage from your cameras anywhere on earth as long as you have an internet connection on a smartphone or a tablet. It even has video compression to save extra storage space on your hard drive. You can activate the motion detecting on the DVR to save even more storage space. It also helps you find active recordings on your DVR. And it also has instant email alert. So if you connect it to the internet, it will alert you if someone breaks into your house or someone crosses a path of that motion detecting camera. The cameras are waterproof IP66 and it supports up to eight cameras. The four cameras come included. And the video outputs HDMI and VGA. Open it up. All right, so in this box, you got your remote right here. There's your search button. There's the camera uh, layout button. Right. You got pause and play, rewind, forward. There's your navigation buttons right here and your men menu button. Comes with a mouse to help you navigate also. So there's two ways to navigate using the remote and the mouse. And a power adapter. And inside of here, there's your manual. And here's all the connections that you have. So here's your audio out, and there's your audio input right here. There's your VGA output to an LCD screen, or your HDMI output to an LCD screen. This is where you plug in the USB mouse. This is where you plug in for internet if you wanna network the DVR, but to network this DVR is a separate video. There's the power input, and it supports eight cameras. And here's the front of it. It does light up also. It lets you know it when it's recording. Here's the IR sensor for the remote. This is the button to show you all the cameras that are active. Here's the escape button, the menu button, and the select button. And this is the navigation buttons. This is the and key DVR system. Now inside here is the cameras and the installation kit. The DVR and the cameras come in one box. Here's the anchors to install your cameras. You're going to need a drill bit to use this. Here's the four-way splitter to power on your four cameras. Here's the power and video cable. The red one is for 12 volts power to power on the camera. This cable is the video cable. And this extends out to 60 feet. And you got one, two, three, four cables. And here's your power adapter for your cameras, which you plug in the four-way adapter right here. And this plugs in right next to the DVR power adapter. And then you just connect the red cable to here and then connect this to the DVR. And you got one, two, three, four waterproof 720p 
outdoor cameras and this is what they look like it is a metal camera so it is durable for outside use the sensor right here senses when the sun goes down these leds will light up giving you a hundred foot nighttime vision range if you loosen this screw right here it'll turn all right so i'm going to show you how to connect it right now power goes right here but you don't want to plug it in just yet. So you want to install all the cameras and everything else and then plug it in last. Right here. And the mouse connects on the bottom. All right, next you want to connect your internet cable or your ethernet cable right here. Make sure it clicks into the RJ45 slot. And you want to connect this to your router or your modem. You still have to network your DVR to your router. If you have a hard time doing that, they do offer lifetime email and phone support, which is awesome. It doesn't come with the HDMI cable, so make sure you pick up an HDMI cable for five bucks on Amazon. And that plugs in right here to the back of your LCD screen. You can also connect it to a VGA. So if you have an LCD monitor that does not support HDMI, this is the second option. Here's your audio input and your audio output. We're not going to be connecting that today. So now I'm going to connect the first one of the cameras to connection one. And then you want, you want to do is you want to push it in and then twist just like that. And then this end connects to the four way adapter that comes with the unit. Now, if you decide to get four more cameras for this unit, you're going to need another power adapter and another four way splitter. And that connects right here. So, this one power adapter supports four cameras. And this remote does not come with batteries, so make sure you pick up some batteries. And it takes about two AAA batteries, looks like. And again, for the second camera, you want to do the same thing because you want to connect it to one of the connections on the four way splitter. And let's put, connect it to connection number two. Now, when you uh, mount your camera, make sure you aim your camera toward a breakable entrance. And when you drill the hole in your house, make sure this plate covers that hole. And then you want to connect that connection right here, just like that, and the power connection. All right, so uh, everything's plugged up. And it's activated. I literally just plugged this in a minute ago. The um, DVR just beeped, letting me know it's fully booted up. I originally connected it, connected it to my TV. However, my TV video format wasn't compatible to the DVR. So now I connected my HDMI cable from the DVR to my LCD monitor. Now I have an image. And this is the first thing you're going to see right here. This screen right here, the setup guide. So I'm going to... Click on do not display this wizard again and hit next. All right, now you won't be able to network this DVR to the internet so you can view it on your smartphone or tablet unless you, this is all correct. So your time zone has to be correct and I'm in Florida so it's Eastern time and two o'clock date's accurate. Everything's accurate now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Here's your language is on the bottom. Hit next. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. All right, I connected the DVR system to the internet. Now if your router is on the other side of the house, this is the best solution. Instead of running a 100 foot ethernet cable across you know, in your attic or across your house, using this plug and play system, you easily connect to the internet. Hit next. You want to use an app called Scan Life, and you want to scan this QR code. Well, if you have an Android phone, you want to scan the right QR code. If you have an iPhone, you want to scan the left QR code, and so you could download the app, so you're able to view your live video footage on your phone. Hit next. If you want to add devices, scan this code. Hit next. Hit OK to finish. Username by default is admin. Leave the password blank and hit OK. Now if you want to get out of this screen right here, you want to right click and then left click menu. Go to record, click on playback, 
and this is where you view your recordings right here. I'm going to go to alarm, click on motion detect, click on channel, you can select all channels which is all your cameras and you can enable it for motion detect. So I only record any kind of motion. It won't record dead air. Change the sensitivity. You can change it to lower or lowest. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it to lowest. I can set the DVR to make a noise anytime that uh, motion detecting is set off. I'm gonna turn that off. It can be annoying. It's really loud. You can't adjust the volume for some reason. All right, so I hit OK to save it. All right, so right here are your display settings. You click on that and your re default resolution for your display settings is set at 768p. And so you, if you hook it up to a TV, it's not gonna work. You have to hook it up to an LCD monitor using the VGA or HDMI cable. Now if you wanna hook it up to a TV, you have to change your resolution to 720p, which is the, the, the one right below it. And then go ahead and hit OK to save it. This is a great system to have for only around $200, which normally goes for three to $400. And it even comes preloaded with a one terabyte hard drive, which most DVRs don't have a hard drive included. Two year warranty, lifetime technical support. And if you're interested in this video surveillance system, just click on the link in the video description below. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up and click on that share button below if you want to share it to anyone that's actually interested in getting a video surveillance system. Later guys, thanks for watching.